this wind! She's the devil's own! I guess I blacked out for a second. Where's Elaine? She flew a wee bit into the woods when we crashed. Then let's get going. We'll find her, then scour the island for the uncursed diamond ring that'll transform her back to normal. I don't be thinking we will, lad. What do you mean? Uh, I mean, what do you mean, Haggis? This be a mutiny, Captain. We're leaving you. Did I mention that I'm offering my crew a very attractive pension plan? Ah, uh, you did. And the stock options. But we're still leaving. But why, Haggis? Why? Well, I admit being your pirate crew's been a real pleasure. A real pleasure. But we've grown restless. We can hear the voice of the siren calling to us, and she says she'd be wanting us to do her hair. You're going back to being barbers? Aye. We'll be sailing back to Plunder Island just as soon as we can fix the ship. Good luck, Captain Driftwood. It were a pleasure to be looting with you. I guess I'm on my own again. Aye. My, hi, that's a big bottle of lotion you have there. That's right, she be. And don't need be getting any ideas of... There's no way that I can have even a drop of lotion? Well, maybe we could make a deal. You see, we need to be repairing the ship. She's leaky as a colander. And for some unknown reason, the ship supplies of tar have been depleted. How the previous crew could set sail without any tar aboard eludes me. But the fact is, unless we get us some tar or something like it, we're doomed to this island for good. Hey, I'd give you the whole bloomin' bottle of lotion if you could find me something to patch the ship so we can be on our way home. I'll let you get back to work. Elaine looks like she's all right. Hang on, honey. I'm going to get you out of this mess. that alone, and someone kill that man with a jackhammer. I can't see anyone in there right now. It's every bit as stinky as the rest of this dog. Okay, fella, this won't hurt a bit. Hey, I guess it didn't hurt a bit. He must be shedding.
Those advertisements were no lie. It really is crystal clear. I really don't want to go in the ocean. I really want to. I really don't want to go. I really don't want. I really don't want to go in the ocean. I really don't want to go. 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 I really don't want to go in the ocean. I really don't want to go. I really don't want to go in the ocean. I really don't want to go in the. I really don't want to go in the. I really don't want to go in. I really don't want to go in the. I really don't want to go in the ocean. I really don't want to go in the. Well, if you insist. Hmm. That guy probably couldn't hold his breath underwater for very long. Too bad. I hope it was worth it for you. I really don't want to go in the ocean. Too bad he couldn't reach any of this sharp stuff. Ugh, no way. It's too barnacle encrusted to be very useful. Boy, do you look terrible. Stop shouting! What is that? I found this wild pepper. Shh! Thanks. Oh, that'll be perfect for my hangover remedy. I found this egg for your hangover remedy. This is some of the hair of the dog that bit me. Shh. Thanks. That's all the ingredients I need. Let me quietly mix up a dose. <laughs> ah, much better. Here, you can take the rest. I'd like a drink, please. Sure. What will you have? Give me a big fruity drink with an umbrella in it. Good choice. It's a delicious taste of the islands. Made with lemon, grapefruit, and ground beef. Hey, don't I get one of those decorative umbrellas to go in my tropical drink? Um, I don't think we have any. No, I'm wrong. I do have this one. That jar's for my tips. Put it back. But I was going to put a whole lot of money in it. Too much for me to carry around with me. So I'm going to have to take it with me and fill it up. Oh, okay then.
I'd better get rid of this incriminating picture frame. What? There, I've cut out the face. Yeah, gross. You just stole that mirror, didn't you? No, I didn't. It's right there. Look. Hmm, I guess you're right. Oh, dear. I'm starting to look old. From all that drinking. Mind your own business. That opened it. That makes the drink oh so much more appealing. I don't carry around other people's spit anymore. I've grown past that stage. It just occurred to me that mixing medicine and alcohol is a really stupid and possibly lethal thing to do. If I were a real person instead of a lovably inept cartoon character with the potential for a few more sequels, I wouldn't even consider it. Skull. That's odd. It's supposed to cause drowsiness. I don't feel the least bit drowsy. In fact, I, uh... In fact, I feel, uh... So then the Undertaker says, I wanted to be a pallbearer, but I couldn't stop coughing. Oh, 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 you crack me up, Mort. So what's with the new guy? Oh, he's been like that for an hour now. Passed out cold. He'll come around. I don't know. I'm pretty sure he's dead. Hmm. I guess that's the end of the game, then. What with him being the main character and all? Funny. I didn't think you could die in LucasArts Adventure Games. Well, maybe they're trying something different. When I should take care of him? Would you? It's bad for business having him just lie there. Rest in peace and all that. Hey! I'm not really dead. Oh, come on, cut it out. Yikes. Where's that telltale pounding coming from? It's coming from within one of these coffins. From the dead. The dead that surround me. They must know my horrible secret. They'll never let me rest until I've paid for the wrongs I've committed against. Wait a second. I don't have a horrible secret. I'm glad to be finally out of that thing, even though it was a spacious, comfortable model with plenty of leg and headroom. Well, hello there. Say, you look familiar. Uh, yes, well, uh... Of course! Guybrush Threepwood. You're the one who locked me in there in the first place. Well, 
Well, you see, I've been meaning to... No, no, I won't hear of it. That was the best time of my life. Gave me plenty of time to think, you know? To think about the things that really matter. I don't know if you've considered this, son. But live burials are not an altogether uncommon experience here in the Caribbean. I wasn't aware of that. Not to mention pirate raids and deadly sea battles. Huge man-eating reptiles. Dangerous quicksand pits. Trigger-happy do lists. And of course, those pesky undead. Have you ever thought of what would happen to your loved ones should this gruesome fate befall you? No, but... but... Well, of course, you have plenty of time to think about it. Or do you? I'm one of the lucky ones. I've been dead. It's given me a whole new perspective on life. A life that I'm going to devote to making sure people's life insurance needs are met. Here, take one of my business cards I've had made up. If you've been locked in that coffin, how are you able to have business cards made? Now's not the time to worry about the technicalities, son. Now's the time to ask yourself, are you covered? Run along now and let me set up my office. Hmm? We're trapped in here. The door's locked. Nonsense. This is one of Stan's cozy crypts, all equipped with a patented secure lock release mechanism. Just jiggle the handle there. Welcome back to Mutual of Stan. You've convinced me. I want to buy some insurance. A wise choice, and one you won't soon regret. The question isn't whether or not you can afford to buy an insurance policy. It's whether you can afford not to. Speaking of which, can you afford to buy an insurance policy? Well, how much does it cost? Oh, that depends on a variety of factors. How much coverage you need, how much you're willing to spend, all sorts of highly complicated sliding scale insurance equations and such. But I won't bore you with all that. Just let me ask you this. How much money do you have? Well, I've got these wooden nickels. I see. Maybe I've confused you somewhere along the line. While nothing would please me more to send you out of here, with the peace of mind that your family will be provided for in the unlikely event of your death, I have to run a business here. If you can't at least show me some collateral, I can't give you a policy. This authentic pirate relic, a genuine tooth from an actual pirate, only one of its kind. Is that real gold? The finest known to man. Not much spit on it either anymore. Now you're starting to speak my language. All right, let's find a coverage plan that suits your needs. And you can rest assured that you've provided for your family well after your unfortunate departure. What are the terms of this plan exactly? It's quite simple, son. When you die, whoever holds that policy gets a lot of money. A lot of money? Wow. Wow is right. Now I want you to be careful out there. Okay, I will. Thanks. No, I'm serious. I want you to be very, very careful. Will do. This village is deserted. How curious. It's decorative yet functional. A 60-pound block of tofu won't help here. That looks like a mask.
familiar somehow. Perhaps it's because I look like a big lemon. Oh, yeah. But it's more than that. We've met before, back on Monkey Island. Ah, uh, Monkey Island. We had a nice village there. Rent-controlled huts close to the good schools. Those were the salad days, so to speak. Till they put in that darned carnival. Carnival? Yes, carnival. Just as soon as they put up the first tent, whoosh! The whole place becomes trendy. Sailors coming in at all times of the night. That awful music droning on and on. And to be honest with you, I think the Midway games are rigged. Yeah, yeah. At night, it wasn't safe for a cannibal to walk the island alone. You know, I can hold my breath underwater for ten minutes. I see. What if the water's boiling? Do you think you could last about 45 minutes? It's been so long since I've made any bullion. How I did love bullion. Oh. But we are no longer vicious and bloodthirsty cannibals. No? No. We underwent a paradigm shift in our belief system several years ago. A paradigm shift? You don't say. We decided we wanted to live a healthy cannibal lifestyle. Completely cut back on our fatty missionary intake and went vegetarian altogether. But there certainly was a time I would have eaten you. Young guy like you, not too much muscle. Hey! I'd probably marinate you in white wine for 45 minutes. Dip you in a light corn batter. Wrap you in banana leaves and bury you in a pit with a hundred hot coals. Let you roast overnight. Then I'd serve you on a bed of basmati rice with a garnish of shiitake mushrooms and shallots. <laughs> but not anymore, right? <laughs> but but not anymore, right? Huh? Oh, yeah, right, right. Gotta run. Bye. <clears throat> Finally, you're here. Come on, we're late for the sacrifice. God of the volcano who resides in Mount Acidopolis! Accept this sacrifice we make unto you. In the form of flesh with high amounts of fiber and wholesome cellulose. Free of all fat and trans fatty acids so that it might nourish you and bring your favor upon our humble village and not upset nor agitate your ulcerative caldera. Okay, boys, toss him in. You've been a wonderful audience. Thank you and good night. cheese to a lactose intolerant volcano god do you know what that means you brought about the coming of the divine dysentery run for your lives <laughs> was more spectacular than I'd hoped. It's full of sugar water now. There, I poked holes in it.
Hi, guys. I guess you'll be wondering how I came to be back from the dead. No questions for the dead guy come back to life? No questions like, is there life after death or is there a heaven? Will there be adequate parking? Fine. Be that way. I wouldn't tell you about the hereafter if you begged me. I guess I'll just drag this down to Haggis now. Here, Haggis. This stuff should work to patch up the ship. Aye, laddie, indeed it should. The consistency of tar, but with a tangy pepper taste. So, can I have your lotion now? Aye, lad. Go ahead and take it. It's full of yummy, delicious sugar water. Mm, bet that water sure tastes good. They're trapped inside and glowing like mad. Boy, it's windy up here. Perfect! The lighthouse is working now. Dark presence coming over me. Hi there. Ah! Hi, I'm Guybrush. And you would be? I am Madame Zima, mistress of the ancient arts of precognition and augury, diva of divination. Cool. You're a fortune teller. Ah, that and so much more. Whatever. Tell me my fortune. I do not think you wish to hear. There are things of which a man is better off being ignorant. Oh, but I'm already ignorant of so many things. I want to know my future. No, you are not meant to know. I bet you just can't do it. That's the problem. You can't do it, and you're afraid everyone will find out you're just a phony. You know, I could put a curse on you that would make every morsel of food you eat become a ravenous cockroach inside your intestines, giving you the most excruciating death imaginable. So are you going to tell me my fortune or not? I'm not kidding. Okay, okay. What's in the cards for me? Fame? Fortune? Romance? Ah, very well. We will consult the cards. The process of reading the tarot is a very complex one. Each draw of the cards foretells an upcoming event in your life. When assembled, they will tell the story of your future. A future filled with twists and... Ah! What is it? Is that a good... Ah! It is death. Well, in the tarot, death just means change, right? I mean, it's nothing to get worried about, right? I uh, sure, whatever you say. Now, please go! There must be some mistake. Read my tarot cards again. There is no mistaking your fate, Guybrush. The cards do not lie. But if you insist, once again, it is death. I'm feeling luckier. Give me another tarot reading. Luck is not involved here, Guybrush. It is your destiny. Whatever. Let's see what the cards say this time. The card says death. 
Are you sure you're not dealing from the bottom of the deck? Remember that curse I told you about? Okay, okay. Hit me. Death. How many of those cards do you have, anyway? Do you know anything about the lost ring of Blood Island? I sense tremendous sorrow in connection with that ring. And a great part missing. A beautiful diamond. Where's the diamond? I see a dark cave filled with evil men. And a place of death. A dark island in the form of a giant skull. How about giving me one more tarot reading? This is evil work, Guybrush. The fates have conspired against you. And no man can interfere. Your path has been determined. Okay, I get your point. I really do. Just one more time for Guybrush. <gasps> Let me guess. Death? Leave this place. Huh? You are putting us all in grave danger. Your very presence will bring us nothing but sickness, tragedy, and death. Oh, yeah? Well... Demon! Demon! Look! A three-headed monkey! Ah! Then the prophecies were true! Where? I don't see anything. He must have run away. This is a very bad omen.